Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome back to more revolutions and rebellions. Uh, as you can see here in the east, King Bernadine's army is, um, well, they're, they're laying siege to Aral. I want to say Aino. We should rename that. To the level-headed Emperor Her Her Ernie. Hermes, sorry. So we asked a bunch of people, our allies, to join us in this war. Uh, I think they're all going to say no. Yep. It didn't hurt to ask, though. And we are sieging uh, Breno here. We're getting there a little ways. Just started sieging Kiev. And um, sieging Corson. Ooh, and our spy master, my liege. The people of Constantinople have progressed beyond our own technological level. So he's going to get us some tech in either military, economy, or cultural. Economy, that is awesome. Soon we're going to be able to use that to get more taxes or something. We could use it on trade practices, but I don't really care. Because I'm not really worried about port stuff. Port it in your butthole. That's the saying we have in the kingdom. You know, doesn't everybody say that? <laughs> I assume they do. We're going to bump the speed up a tiny bit. We have a lot of our vassals who are angry because of how long their troops have been out at war. Uh, someone needs to be educated. So hopefully we can end this war before too long. Uh, so they will quit being mad at us. I gotta quit saying, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Come fight us. If that army comes to fight us, too, which they might do eventually once we start sieging, taking control of their allies' land, is they'll have to march through all this area with no real supply routes. They'll take a bunch of losses in um, attrition. Oh, our spy master finally died. We'll put a vet up. Uh, we will have you build a spy network and Sophia to protect us. That other guy did a great job. He was a terrible regent, but a really good spy master. He got a ton of tech. It's possibly a good idea that maybe in the future we should do more of that. I really don't know. Corson, we shall merge our armies. I kind of want to... We're going to assault there. We're going to lose some guys. I don't care. Because I want to take an area right away. That's going to get our war score up faster. Boom. See, we're already at 24%. And ideally, it's going to put the pressure on them. Now, are they going to stay here and siege things or come after us? Our new spy master right away is like, My liege, there's a rumor here in Sophia. When your local nobles are corrupt. All the time. All our nobles in Sophia are corrupt. You may use that information as you see fit. I hope you don't get murdered, Yvette. That's hilarious. That's the lady that Hermes called fat when he was a little kid. My liege, the local noble here in Sophia, Mayor Cressum of Dictopia, tried to silence me by sending thugs. Luckily, I managed to get away. I'll go ahead and spread the rumor about his corruption and destroy his reputation amongst the vassals. Yet my blessing. These are some rebels that I don't know why they rose up in Tiranovo. I really don't, but... Apparently, there's a peasant revolt way over here now. I don't know why. I really don't understand why here, as this has been a really peaceful area that we took over a long time ago. But what are you going to do? We're about to uh, siege the castle, occupy the castle up here in Breno. That'll be awesome sauce. Get us even more war score. We'll move these guys into there. Where did we lose? Oh, in the east. Uh, King Bernadine's army. That's all right. They're going to take land out there. Don't matter, son. We'll appoint a new commander. Commander Old Man. Hey, I have a name. Yes, Commander Old Man. And we have taken that. Uh, now we're going to try and siege the temple here. That's going to take a little while. Very well developed, though. It shows how long we've had this area that we've been able to develop these things. What about Kiev? You have a new heir. Oh, we had a little daughter, Rosita. Bonita Rosita. My lovely, lovely girl. I'm a baby. My baby song. Who is your mother? 
The attractive Alexander. Unfortunately, you're not attractive like your mom. To the most illustrious Emperor Hermes, the good burgers of Dictopia are barely able to pay their taxes. Bullshit. If you're going to pay your taxes, would you have a sweet helmet like that? It is pretty sweet, yeah. I'm going to flatter and soothe you so you leave and I don't have to pay nothing. Because Hermes has good diplomacy. Can you believe that? People of Dictopia trying to get out of paying their taxes? Everybody's got to pay their fair share. How else would we have this glorious empire that has revolts every couple of years? They're not being very smart, the rebels, though. Like, Bernadine? First of all, he's an asshole. Because our dad, Bernie, put him in charge as a kid. He should have some sort of, um, you know, loyalty. But secondly, taking these little areas here are not going to, to do a lot to help them war score-wise. If they want to win, they need to go win some battles. And we're going to take much more from them here. See, we've already taken the temple here in Corson. The uh, county capital in Kiev is going to fall soon. Oh, look, they've already lost some dudes due to attrition. They used to be over 8,000. No longer, my friends. And this... Uh... Ooh, victory! The temple there is getting weak, too. So Kiev, we took that. Already at 27% war score. Oh, and our ally won their war. That's awesome. Good war. Good on you, friend. And I think we have some reinforcements coming in from the north. That was weird. I hate when it does that. The Ichabod invasion of Uglia has ended. Chief Tom to Toloon is our ally is one. That's what it means. I'm glad we could help so much, and it was mostly moral support. We're like, yeah, we're going to help you. You're going to win. And they're like, you going to send troops? Nah. You don't need troops to win a war. <laughs> they're like, yeah, you do. Well, we do, but you don't. Not our troops, at least. Victory. We've seized the temple. We're already at 32% war score. The only negatives are the territories we have lost in the east and once they have taken this Maggie shell anywhere else they siege well unless they get shocked or uh whatever this is in carpathia uh may mana anywhere else they're gonna have big siege problems or uh attrition problems oh they took our castle fuck it dweeb rebels or peasants I will merge these guys. So many victories going on. Hard to keep track of them. Alright, we're going to take this army, actually, and move it south to engage the rebels. The res the peasant rebels. Though I thought Ognan. Who is Ognan? Ognan wants to duel someone who's his rival. My kinsmen, no. You're banished. You're nobody important. You're a dumb kid who's got a temper. Get out of here. There is an old hermit somewhere in the back country of Sophia who is said to possess great wisdom as well as razor-sharp tits. Wits! Wits! Some claim he once served in the clergy. Others say he was a mercenary captain who decided to put down his arms for good. Whatever is past, many seek him for counsel. I think Bernie will, or Hermes will do that. I shall find this hermit. Perhaps he can teach me more of the ways of Tangri. All right, the Byzantine Empire just took that and that. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> All right, sometimes those things happen. Uh, we took the temple here with a, with a mule as your only company. I call him Muley McMulderson. You depart for the Hermit's Cave. The journey is long and the roads are too and is the Muley McMillerson's donkey dong. Uh, <laughs> the journey is long and the roads are where they exist at all and are in poor condition. 
Finally, after reaching the end of a narrow mountain path, you come upon a cave. A ragged piece of cloth is all that shields the entrance from the outside elements. I hope that wasn't a shirt. I don't want to go in there and see naked hermit. Old man, show yourself! Ooh, he looks creepy. The cloth parts slightly to reveal a faith face of a gnarled old man. He regards you in silence for a moment. With his beady eyes, then disappears behind the cloth again. No solicitors! He shouts. Bernie is an emperor. He has put down rebellions. He is like, I have traveled far, old man. I will not be denied. You push the curtain aside and enter the dark cave. Deep inside, you find the hermit seated on a cushion in flickering candlelight. He seems to be in some kind of trance at first. But then he opens an eye and looks at you with mild annoyance. I thought I said. Oh, spit it out, then. What do you want? Bernie is like, I hope to share in your wisdom. May I stay and learn the ways of a dirty, filthy hermit? You gotta kiss up to guys like that, you know? It's worth it. After much badgering... Rah, 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 that's badgering. The old man finally relents and permits, permits you to stay for a few days. You observe him carefully. Observe, uh, get an extra B. And learn as much as you can. In the end, his wisdom seems limited to an endless stream of platitudes and maxims. You've memorized... You know, it's like going on Facebook when you see people be like, Yeah, life's happy. you memorized many, and at least they will make you seem more learned in the eyes of others. Semper ubi sub ubi oblique. We've gained two learning. That should make us cynical, though. We're like, it's not about being smart. It's pretending to be. I'm going to get rid of that. That's basically somebody saying, You're so religious, you've made a new religious friend. Shaman Bozadar. Fate smiles upon me. Our concubine Bodana is pregnant. She is quick and attractive. Man, it's not going to happen, but that's who we should have, like, our super kids with. It is taking the King Bernadine's army a while to siege our place. That is most excellent. Our spy master is like, I found there's someone crooked. I know, last time they got you. My liege, Mayor Kresemir of Dictopia decided not to risk upsetting his vassals and confess to the allegations. I have collected a fine. Good job! You may be fat, vet, but you're great at bringing in money. I can't believe you still call me that! Thanks for the money. Uh, we have finished sieging here. The city. Sorry for all the uhs. I'm in all mood. I gotta get that under control. That annoys me. Now we just have to siege the castle. Did we siege that in the previous re revolutions? I don't believe we did. Corson is all occupied. Kiev is mostly occupied other than the city here. We have a 53% war score. And we have our army bearing down on the rebels. We're going to put some proper leaders in charge of the flanks. Prepare to get crushed, rebels. Should know your place. Oh, we can arrest somebody. Why? They try to kill Sermon. I don't care. The biggest reason is if we go to arrest him. I might if we were at peace. Uh, if you arrest him, he's going to try and become independent. And we don't want that right now. We want everybody to be friends because we're already fighting too many wars. Oh, Rebels, you seem to be losing. Um, we want a victory somewhere else, too. Your right flank's about to go down. Right flank has gone down. Our left flank's crushed them. We're going to try and circle around. There goes their center. Only a matter of time now before their left flank falls and the rebellion is ended. It's not ended? They're... Where are they going? They're going into Byzantine territory? I would think the Byzantines would destroy them. Oh, fuck it. We're going to chase them into Byzantine territory to destroy them. Hopefully the Byzantines don't mind too much. Let us move this army to the east. Oh, wait. No, no. You're not done sieging. I was a little premature. That was to the best of us. I really don't know where that defeat was now. 
Somewhere. <laughs> it said defeat. I mean, y'all saw it, right? I, I assumed it was here, because they're about to finish sieging the county capital. Alright, rebels. Now you will be done. Victory! The rebellion is finished. We will arrest that guy. Damn, peasants should have known their place. Maybe they didn't like the higher taxes, but they should be overjoyed that they get to contribute to an awesome empire. Uh, interesting. There's another revolt there, but those aren't our guys. We may actually... Oh, did they get allies? Oh, we can end that rebellion too. Because there was a peasant rebellion in the north, and I don't know why, but that one's done. <laughs> We're at a 60% war score. I thought maybe they got some allies. Maybe these guys will fight each other? Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's this guy's... Is that her? Chief Shivik? Oh, yeah. Sure, you send your king troops to fight. How often did you do that for us when we needed it? Victory and defeat. Y'all can march to the east. So this territory, this territory, and this ter territory, where the headquarters of the rebellion is, they are all totally occupied by our troops. Giving us a strong 58% war score. It won't take them long, probably, to take the city. Oh, the city's not so bad. Or the tent. Well, that's all right. And you can see more and more of their guys dying due to attrition. Unfortunately, more of our guys... Oh. They got happier? They were at negative 20. Maybe it's because we're winning more. They're like, hell yeah, I like being on the winning side, son. I don't blame you. Look at that mad score. Is that good? I don't know. I've never really sat down and compared the score to like other people who I've watched LP it. And once again, the King of Lithuania does nothing. I like doing nothing. The most exciting thing he's ever done is ask to marry his relatives, which I denied. He's not a... Well, I guess he's a good leader, though. He's not rebelled. You have a new heir. Ooh, we're going to have a son. Ooh, and he is... He's sickly, that sucks, but he's attractive. We will call you Vigo. You will be Vigo of Carpathia. A few people will get the reference. And for Hermes II, the sword of Erlik Khan fulfilled the ambition to have a son. His new ambition will be to mass wealth. That's awesome, though. He's got a son and a daughter. His son is attractive. Hopefully his son survives. His son will not most likely inherit the throne, but... The only way that would happen would be if we changed the inheritance laws, which are incredibly hard to do when we're this big of an empire. It's almost impossible. Not quite, but pretty close. Who are you assholes? Mayor Soemer? Do you honestly think you're going to march through our territory and retake this stuff, dude? You got another thing coming. Like in the song. Auto saving. Make that your new ringtone, everybody. All the ladies will think you're cool and sexy then. Oh, no. Didn't we have a chancellor kissing up to these a-holes? To the narrow-minded infidel, Hermes II, your low character is the subject of Greek plays. This is a formal declaration of war from the Byzantine Empire. Our armies shall meet on the field of battle. Ah, uh, poor Hermes. He cannot get a break. These asshole Byzantines decided to declare war on us after rebellion after rebellion in our own territory. Let's see if we can call in any allies. They are fighting a holy war for Moesha, which is our own personal territories. If we lose that, 
We lose, like, everything. The only thing we can hope is that our other Tangri brothers want to help us. Unfortunately, there are not a lot of other Tangri nations. Who are you? A message? Ooh, this guy wants to join us. Who are you? Alright, you're accepted. You're really Tangri? Well, I guess so. Cool. And while we're at it, can we hire the Holy Orders? No! Somebody's using them! Butts! And our allies do not want to help us. Because they're a bunch of douche nozzles. We gotta get these guys across here. We gotta end the war with the rebels. Ooh, but our concubine Rada is pregnant. We're gonna be fucked if they win this war here, though. You know what we're going to do? Oh shit, we can't because we're in enemy territory here. I was gonna send home all of our personal troops. Fuck it, we're just gonna assault here. Victory! And here. People are going to die, but so be it. Victory! How much longer till there? One day? And there. Victory! So despite all of that, we're still going to probably have to fight their army. Well, everybody, that's the end of this episode. We have two big problems. The Byzantine Empire is about to start sieging our territory. And we still got this stupid rebellion. When it rains, it pours. Hard times for Carpathia are ahead. Thanks for watching, everybody.